write the formula for sodium acetate, we look up sodium on the periodic table, that's Na. And then acetate, that's not on the periodic table. You see this ATE here. That means it's a polyatomic ion. So you either can memorize it or look it up on the periodic table. Quite often, we'll see the acetate ion written like this with a one minus charge. So sodium is a metal, and then this acetate, that's all nonmetals. So we have a metal and nonmetals. It's ionic. We do need to think about the charge. Sodium on the periodic table, it's in group one. It has a one plus charge. We said the acetate had a one minus. So these charges, they need to add up to zero. They do. So this is one way to write the formula for sodium acetate. But here's the thing. You won't see it written this way much of the time. What you'll see is this. The Na will be put at the end of the compound, like that. So this is more likely what you'll see as the formula for sodium acetate. The reason it's written this way quite often is because we start with acetic acid, which looks like this. And it's this H that is replaced by the sodium. So we end up with this exception where we put the metal at the end of the compound. There are a few other ways you'll see sodium acetate written as well. For example, C2H4O2. And sometimes you'll even see it written as NaOAC, where that AC, that's our acetate group. But most commonly, I see this as the formula for sodium acetate. These are all equivalent, just different ways of writing it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.